First player shot me an email wondering if I'd like to be their player too and inspect their assets. Push my buttons in all the right ways and how could I say no? The FireRose RGB is a full-size keyboard and an impressively sturdy one at that, coming in at 1kg with a 1.6m cable. It features water and dust resistance, two fold-out feet for a slightly heavier incline, injection molded keycaps, media controls on the function keys, Windows lock, and 100% anti-ghosting with replaceable Otemu Blue switches with a 50 million click lifespan. If you like cherry blue switches, these aren't those, but they're not too far off. Once you start typing, you'll feel like you're knocking on heaven's door. It's a, it's a Guns N' Roses song. Guns N' Roses? Fire Rose? No? Okay, fine. Out of the box, you get a keycap puller, a switch puller, the manual, three quality control badges, a shiny coaster, and five replacement blue switches. I sort of wish these were different switches so you could have some sort of variety, but on the bright side, RGB. Kind of. There's no advanced software control, but with the function key, you have access to a healthy number of effects like static, giving you the color options of blue, green, yellow, purple, teal, white, and red. Then you've got gaming mode, where you can swap the patterns using function and the numbers 1 through 5. Function and the home key will allow you to customize the patterns to your liking. Next is reactive, which gives you the same color options as static, in addition to a rainbow type lighting effect. After that, you have a fairly choppy rainbow wave effect, whose direction can be changed if you try to swap colors. The next effect is called wave, with the same color options as before, followed by a type lighting ripple effect, something they call a touch and go effect, Another kind of wave effect, this one spanning the full keyboard, a breathing effect, and what they call a neon effect, which looks more like a color cycle to me. Some effects allow for speed and brightness control, but if all that's too tacky for you, you can turn the LEDs off. Last noteworthy feature is it's waterproof, but they say don't put the keyboard underwater. Come on, first player. Don't be a wet sandwich. A wet sandwich, even. Though I should note that after accidentally dumping water on it, the LEDs remain unaffected, but the keyboard itself was rendered useless until it was dried out, as the keystrokes resulted in triggering double taps or adjacent keys. Removing the keycaps reveals exposed PCB, which is also visible from the drain ports below. So while it can potentially survive being a bit moist, it won't help you maintain your uptime. On the not-so-bright side, there's no wrist rest, and that may or may not bother some of you. And even though it's an RGB keyboard that advertises 16.8 million colors, you really only have access to a handful. And on that note, Caps lock, scroll lock, and number lock are only available in blue. The rest of the colors are just a technicality when it comes to transitions within effects. Speaking of colors, there's a subtle Fire Rose branding above the arrow keys that comes in red, which may or may not cause color conflicts with your aesthetic, but it's not super obnoxious, so that may not be a huge deal for you. And speaking of colors again, kind of, the keyboard only comes with blue switches, and if you want to replace them, I believe first player says that only other Otemu switches are compatible. But other than that, the keyboard feels durable, the switches are pretty easy to replace, it's got decent color options and effects, and if you like typing with that tactile bump, this is sure to be a pleasant experience. The keyboard comes in at $55, US dollars, so it's not the cheapest RGB mechanical keyboard on the market, but it's not a bad price either. So is this something you'd be interested in, or does this keyboard perhaps give you the blues? So that's all I have to say about that, there's a comment section down there, leave me questions if you got them, thanks for watching, my name is Steven and I am a little dim. Bye bye. First player shot me an email wondering if I'd like to be their player too. And in <laughs> oops, I got so caught up in the player 2 line I forgot there was more. With replaceable Otemu Blue switches with a 50 million click lifespan. I don't know if that's how you pronounce that switch name or not, I'm not too sure. I'm gonna roll with it, if you sound confident people will leave you. <laughs> Function in the home key will allow you to customize your patterns to the- Your li- your, get, get, mm, no, customize patterns to your liking, there we go. There's a subtle Fire Rose branding arrow. Oh, hold on, that's not right. And if you want to replace them, I believe first player says they're only compatible. Oh, they are only, yeah. I think I said that right, but I might've said it wrong. It's hot in here. No, I'm not taking off my hat. First player says that only other Otemu Blue switches are compatible. Not blue, Other only other Otemu switches. Yeah, thanks for watching. My name is Steven and I am a little dim. Bye bye. Wow, that did not flow very well at the end. I'm not sponsored by Monster, but I am supported by it. Ha!